Hey mama, you're 17 weeks pregnant, so let's talk about what's going on with you and your baby at this point in your pregnancy. I'm Bridget. I'm so glad you're here joining us in this community of mamas. I'm a doula and a childbirth educator, and I love providing information that just encourages you and empowers you. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and you hit the bell to stay in the know every time a new video comes your way. So let's talk about baby first. They're about the size of an onion now, and they're putting on some weight with the fat stores that are developing under their skin at this point. This development of this fat layer is going to help with their metabolism and it keeps them nice and warm and cozy. Your baby has unique fingerprints on each of their fingers and is using their hand to make little fists and even suck on their fingers. Your body is nourishing your baby's growth and development and you might have increased appetite. A lot of times for women, pregnancy is an excuse to eat just whatever they want. I want to discourage this mentality and replace it with the idea that what you eat directly impacts your baby's long-term health and development right now and your health as well. Mama, of course, eat when you're hungry, but aim for whole foods that are actually going to nourish you and your baby. You should be eating at least 80 to 100 grams of protein a day, and most of us just aren't doing that. So to help you increase your protein eat intake, each time you have a snack or a meal, you should be incorporating some kind of protein into it, along with a whole food carb and a healthy fat. Protein shakes are another great way that I personally like to use to ensure that I'm getting adequate amounts of protein per day. I have some more ideas to help get more protein into your diet in the description below. Eating foods in balance with enough protein balances your blood sugars, which creates an environment where your body can thrive and keep nourishing you and your baby. It also helps protect you against gestational diabetes, excessive weight gain, and hormonal imbalances during pregnancy and after too. Now, weight gain is nothing to be scared of. It's a natural and actually a very important part of pregnancy. The focus should be on fueling our bodies with real, nourishing, whole, colorful foods, not just managing our weight. Now, along with weight gain from our baby growing and our body collecting extra fat to fuel our baby's growth and development, some mamas might be experiencing some stretch marks with that added growth. Staying well hydrated, eating protein, moisturizing your skin with tallow, taking collagen, supplementing with vitamin E, or even using it topically, and then applying frankincense essential oil onto the marks can all help with stretch marks. But if they happen, mama, wear them proudly. Those are beautiful and powerful marks that show how incredible your body is, that it can carry life within it. Now, heartburn is another symptom that can kick in during the second trimester, and if you haven't had it before, for, it can be very alarming. I've personally only experienced it in one of my pregnancies, but it was so painful. So you definitely want to have remedies that can help you find relief if it happens to you. Again, I lean towards the holistic side, so I like to treat everything as naturally as possible. So to do that, you can drink eight ounces of water with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and one teaspoon of baking soda. Avoid reclining back too soon after you've eaten, avoid trigger foods that are fried, spicy, have tomatoes or citrus and coffee among others. And if you're experiencing frequent prolonged heartburn, you can try cell salts, specifically natrium phosphorus, which is linked down below. Now, hopefully you don't deal with heartburn at all, but if you do, according to an old wives tale, you might have a baby who has a lot of hair but really only time will tell. That wraps up this week's update, Mama. I'll see you next week in week 18. Bye.